Now then fellas, what we've got here then? Well, the Acorn Electron, the little elk, has come on down from Sean, Diablo. Some of you have had one or two trade-ins of late with him. New Mac, Commodore and uh, Xbox guy. Um, so the little Acorn Elk then, and I say little because it's so narrow isn't it? It's so slim build when you compare it say to 130XC that Andy's been working on for me. Half the width, isn't it? And when you compare it, say, to its big brother, which cost twice the price back in the 80s, the BBC Model B, living on this beast, it came in at 400 quid. This was just 199. You can see where it got its little brother kind of uh, reputation from. So, what can it do? Can it do anything, or is it pretty useless compared to the beam? Well, let's take a quick look at. Uh, Daredevil Dennis, Dennis, which for me was one of the most addictive and just one more go type games of that era. So here we go. Let's have a check out the old screenplay. Just two keys as well, shift and um, spacebar. Shift to accelerate, spacebar to do your jumps. So let's have a look. Let's choose a level. Let's go for Okay, take one then. Daredevil Dennis is a stuntman. He's starring in his own films. Two keys, it couldn't be easier, guys. Shift to accelerate, space bar to jump. You just gotta get yourself past the hazards without hitting them. First level, of course, first co Whoa, first goes, it's quite easy. But it gets maddeningly addictive and tricky because the objects sort of increase in number and trickiness. At the beginning it's quite jolly, you know, you can showboat a bit. But it's just, I don't know something about it, it's arcade quality, it's definitely there. It's a uh, nice little good colour graphics. Ooh, just got under the spider there. And, ooh, it's going to be a little bit there. Swan, and the ambulance, ooh, I just managed that, what's that chopper buzz? Oh, he would have to drop some off like a landmine. Um, yeah, take two, it's his second life. Oh, I hit the bloody roof as you do do uh, when you're doing these stunts. I wonder if anything like this came out for the Atari. Oh, you're right for that matter. Um, I just find it's really addictive on the Beeb. You know, if I had to come up with some really good arcade games then to um, check out, I've got Combat Links and Pets of the Penguin. Pengo, yeah, what do you say, Pengo? Um, I'd definitely recommend what we've just been playing, Daredevil Dennis, but I've got a few other shoot em ups and what have you to try out. So, what we're doing at the moment and screen testing the Acorn Electron, does it live up to Big Beeb in terms of what, what it can manage, arcade okay, graphics wise, uh, speed? Um, you know, is it as fast? Is it as cool as the Beeb? We'll check it out, mate. We'll check it out and see what's what.